<laughs> What's up guys, I'm Rosa the Rascal 15 and welcome to Resident Evil 6. Which has the grossest logo I've ever seen on the video game. Seriously, that that is some real 34 nonsense on the screen. Let's get it off right away before this video gets instantly demonetized. What's up everybody? Oh my god, why am I playing this one? Everybody knows that this is the Resident Evil game that we do not talk about. And yet, for some reason, it has a lot of fans. This is like the Batman vs. Superman of video games where it's not a great game. I mean, it's not a great product, but yet it has a lot of fans that will defend it. And you know what? That's fine. If you're a fan of this, first of all, I hope everyone's having a great day. Let me just get one thing out of the way real quick. Thank you all so much for your support on this YouTube channel, all right? The fact that this channel has already hit 81,000 subs is just mind-blowing. And I just want to get one thing out of the way, a little backstory with this game and why I'm playing it on my YouTube channel. I am playing Resident Evil 6 because it all comes down to this. This is the game, and yes, you're going to hear it right. This is the game that made me want to do a YouTube channel in the first place. Back in 2012, I started my YouTube channel, back in June of 2012. And I didn't know how to start my YouTube channel. Most of my first couple of videos, maybe like my first 30 videos were kind of uh, embarrassing. Like I look back on them and <laughs> I just cringe at how much stuff I used to do back in the day. But hey, that's fine. I mean, that's how I was when I was younger. And don't get me wrong, I'm not talking about the plush stuff. I'm talking about like my early early YouTube career you know me uh, just not realizing what kind of comedy I was gonna do on this channel and then just realizing I'm just gonna go all random anyways getting distracted about my past um, I actually bought this game back in the day I actually pre-ordered this game at GameStop and this is still my last pre-order I did at GameStop because this game I was so hyped the fact that Leon Scott Kennedy was coming back in Resident Evil because I had played the fourth one and the, if you guys don't know Resident Evil 4 is actually my favorite game of all time so now I'm playing what I consider the most disappointing game I've played in my entire life. Yes, this game is a huge disappointment. I wouldn't call this a god-awful game like everyone says it is, but this game has been very disappointing. I just want to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and play Leon Scott Kennedy's campaign. This game had everything you want in a Resident Evil game when you first heard about it. It's got Leon, it's got Chris, it's got Ada, and it's got a brand new protagonist named Jake. So... There were some cool things, you know, you had all the main Resident Evil characters and then you had some new characters and I was like, whoa, shit. You know, they were bringing, there was a lot of fan servers, they were bringing back Sherry from Resident Evil 2 and, you know, just things like that. You're like, wow, you know, like it's so amazing, like all the fan service, you know, zombies were coming back in this game because zombies hadn't been in a Resident Evil game in like 10 years since this game, since like the RE Outbreak series, that was the last time there were zombies in the Resident Evil. Actually, you know what? No, the Umbrella Chronicles and Dark Side Chronicles had zombies, but those were based off of the old Resident Evil games. Anyways, this game was trying to please everybody, and yet, in my opinion, it didn't because they focused on doing too much fan service, and what we got was a mess of a video game. Everything about this game wanted to please everybody, and it didn't because it ended up being a mess. It ended up being this over the top, action, quick time event heavy, linear, holding your hand, cheap as hell, bullet sponge heavy, bullshit, Michael Bay explosion, Oh, Listen everybody, before I get started with the playthrough, I know it sounds like I'm already gonna hate this, listen, I don't hate this game. There are friends I have, I have close friends of mine that actually really love this game, like they have genuine good memories of it. I had a lot of fun playing this game back in the day with my friend Gundam Fan 180 when we were still friends not anymore but I won't discuss the reasons why we're not friends that's kind of a personal uh, personal reason uh, some dilemma happened between me and him but anyways that's for another time one day anyways uh, so me and Gundam Fan 180 used to play this game back in the day we used to play the game co-op and I used to play this game a lot online with people um, but I'm not an online gamer anymore everybody so I don't play anymore online, but when I did I would play this game co-op, but the mercenaries mode and I had so much fun playing the mercenaries mode and um, A ton of fun the mercenaries mode. I'll defend it's fun. I love the music. I love the gameplay and that it's fun No restrictions lets you have fun and lets you play the game the way you want to play it The reason why I say that is because Resident Evil 6 like I said is very Strict on how you play it, but listen we're gonna go ahead and play Leon. I know I said listen a lot, but all right here we go 
The first thing I want to do is I'm actually going to skip the intro to this game because it just starts off extremely slow and I mean very freaking slow. So I'm going to skip the intro. We're going to just jump into the first chapter but the second part of the chapter. The chapters are broken up in different parts. Now we're going to do this on normal difficulty because I actually want to have a good time with this game. And I love this about the game, you know, the character select screen, it's pretty cool, you know, I love the UI here. And that's cool because everybody has a unique UI. There is so much shit to talk about in this game. I don't think I'm going to talk about every single little detail. One thing I will give this game a positive on is there is a lot to do in this game. There is a lot to do. There is a lot of things in this game. And I like how the game starts off with two booties on the screen. All right. So right now I have a handgun and a knife. Now, basically, I just want to get one thing out of the way real quick. All we missed was basically Leon Scott Kennedy shot the president. And he's teamed up with an agent here. Her name's Helena Harper. And apparently, she has links to knowing who caused the virus in this game. Apparently, there's a new virus and it turned everybody into zombies. You know, Resident Evil nonsense. But here, it's a lot more complicated than past Resident Evil games. So, I'm not going to talk too much about the story. Here, you're only playing it for the, you know, the gameplay. By the way, I just want to give uh, a thank you to Helena for being an awesome partner. So, uh... <laughs> I love this game. Well, I love the stupid things about this game. All right, listen, I'm going to have a good time with this game. I want everybody to have a good time with this game. I'm not going to be negative in this gameplay. I'm going to have fun for what it is. It's not my favorite Resident Evil game, but you know what? To have fun with this game, you got to turn your brain off and appreciate it for what it is. Just have fun with this dumb game. All right, so let's go ahead and get on with it. We're going to stop some zombies, and uh, yeah. By the way, one thing cool in this game, I love the UI. As you can see... On the bottom right, it's a phone. And if I click R3, you can switch shoulders. Now, one thing I do like is that every character in this game has a different um, UI. Like, if you're playing as, um, I believe it's Ada, hers looks like a blue cube. If you're playing as uh, Jake, it looks like a, a radio. Things like that. Everybody's got a unique UI, which is pretty cool. So, let me explain a little bit about the menu on the bottom right there. So, as you can see, there's squares right there. Uh, there are six squares. Uh, that is my health bar. The one with six squares, that is my health bar. Uh, the one underneath it, right in the middle, the one that has like ten little rectangles, that is my melee meter. Yes, you have a meter for melee. So if I hit R2, like right now, if I was going to shell and kick clean in the face, hua, hua, hua. See how I just wasted one bar? So if you do two, but it recharges. So you could do melee moves, and this counts also for like running and sliding. Like, oh, I can't do it here. The game's not letting me, but. If you like slide and run, it takes up a bar. Basically, doing a melee move or a slide or a quick shot, which I'll demonstrate in a bit because I don't want to waste the bullet, will waste one of those energy bars. It's called a melee bar, so it's pretty unique. And the way uh, it works is that once you run out of it, you cannot do a melee move on an, uh, an enemy. So keep that in mind. Keep an eye on that. The menu... <laughs> the menu, yeah. The little rectangles underneath that are the bullets. As you can see, there's like... I know the menu looks confusing. Everyone's just seeing a bunch of white squares. Like, what are all those white squares on the bottom right, Rosie? The bottom one is the bullet meter. And as you can see, I can carry two guns. If I hit triangle, it lets me swap two guns. Now, this is unique to Leon. Helena can't do this. I have a knife. Sort of Alright. I think I could run here. So yeah, you can slide in this game. Yeah, everybody on campus. Then why is it so quiet? I've got a bad feeling about this. Oh yeah, that's the menu of the game. So if I hit triangle, this brings up the menu. As you can see, it's kind of a cool-looking menu. I like how futuristic it looks. You know, very cell phone-ish. Very looks like a cell phone. Uh, one thing I did change is I made my gun aim like a laser, very uh, a la Resident Evil 4, Resident Evil 5, and you can even do this in the RE2 remake. Um, when you start this game, oh, wrong button. This is like the menu you bring up. So here you can mess around with the stuff. Now keep in mind, when you bring up this menu, you can get attacked. So you got to keep that in mind. If you're going to switch to the game's options, do it when there's no enemies. All right, so here's game settings. And I'm just going to show you some settings real quick here. Like right now I could change the reticule. This is how the game starts. You get this, uh, this. I don't like this. I think this is annoying because it's a crosshair, right? But you're shooting where that red dot's at. And in my opinion, it, it confuses me because every time I'm going to shoot, I'm not paying attention. Look how, you can't even see the red dot right now. Like, 
this sucks. I don't like this. I, it, don't start with this. In my opinion, do the laser sight. And I mean, I don't know why the game gives you this dumb crosshair. Honestly, I prefer the laser sight. So switch to the laser sight. And the one thing I have to say about this game, it's confusing. Look at all these menus. There's menu within menus. Like click game settings and then you got control settings. And then look at this shit. Like look at all the... God, there's like menus within menus. It really is a cell phone simulator. <laughs> RE6 cell phone simulator edition. All right. So yeah, and the cool thing is you can even change the color of the laser light, but you cannot change it here. You have to change it on the main menu of the game. I hate it when games do that. I wish I could just change it here. You can change the aiming controls. Do you want to aim with L and no, I'm gonna leave it like this, you know, things like that. All right, so I'm gonna leave everything alone. Basically, I just changed my laser. See, now I like it like this. This looks better in my opinion. I like it like that. All right, let's go ahead and play the game. So we're on campus. And we're trying to get the hell out of here and find out who's responsible for all the zombies. And trust me, try not to make too much sense of this plot. It's very confusing. It's loosely told through all the four campaigns. You have to play all four campaigns just to understand what the hell's going on. And even then, there's still some plot holes. Apparently, you have to find some files by shooting blue medallions. It's, it's a mess. The story is a mess, so I won't talk too much about it. We're here for the gameplay, so let's go ahead and play this. Didn't mean to interrupt. Yeah. So here's a slide move I'll show you right now. Well, first thing, I'm going to shoot this guy in the head. And I completely missed. Alright, there you go. So, there you go. As you can see, you just shoot him in the head. Uh, he fell. So I'm going to stomp his head. Nice. And there's another zombie there. Oh, God. Alright, let me show you the quick shot. So if I hit L2 and R2 at the same time, check this out. Look at that. And if I hit it like this, watch. If I do Leon's two guns, watch this. <laughs> I love that. That's cool. There are some fun things I do like about this game. Like, the gameplay, it's pretty fun, I'll admit. The control you have is the best. Even to this day, I still think this is the best controlling Resident Evil. I like the fact that, look how fast you can move. You can run and slide. I love this, rolling out of the way. This is cool. I love the amount of options you have for the controls. Unfortunately, they never went back to this for the future Resident Evil installment, so it's unique to this game, and I kind of wish they would bring this back. I understand it makes it too easy, but I don't know. I kind of liked it. I dug this. Oh, God damn. All right, so that was a quick time event there. As you can see, that zombie, if a zombie lunges at you or tries to swipe, if you time it correctly, I'll demonstrate this again, watch. If the zombie tries to hit me here, watch. If you time R2 just right, it's kind of like a parry in third strike. If you time it on the right frame and hit R2, which is the melee button, you can actually instant kill the enemy. It's so cool, but the problem is if you're off by a second, you can get yourself injured, so keep that in mind. It's risky. If you if your timing is perfect, trust me, it's worth it. But you have to nail the timing. You got to study that enemy movement, though. All right. So I got a green herb, 24 bullets, and a red grenade. So basically, you can carry nine things in this game. As you can see, look, count it with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This sucks because this means everything takes up this and you cannot listen everyone i hope you're paying attention you cannot store items in this game this is the only resident Evil game where they don't let you store items and i don't like that i kind of miss having you know the ability like i missed the attache case from re4 that thing was amazing because you would you were able to carry so much stuff in that game that it was great and i know it might break the game that zombie just fell but i understand why they changed it because they're trying to you know make this more of a co-op game because this game is co-op, everyone. This is a two-player game, but unfortunately, I don't have a friend that wants to play this with me. Survivors. I don't know, Leon. All right, so... Uh, oh, I'm going to sneak up on this zombie. Watch this. Yeah, so there's stealth in this game. Did you see that? All right, that zombie's not dead, so I'm going to pop a shot real quick. No, he's... Come on, I knew... I... Did you see that nonsense? I shot the zombie, didn't react. If this was the RE2 remake, if you shoot a dead body, it would actually react. Nonsense game. All right. All right. All right, so let's keep going. And uh, so far, I'm having fun with the game so far. Again, this is the only campaign I enjoyed because Chris's campaign is like Gears of War, which I don't like. It's just pure action. When I want to play a Resident Evil game, I want to play... Oh, what are you doing there, Helena? You right? You good, Helena? What's up? You good? good work. Is she good? Look at his hand. Look at it. Nice. Look at that hand movement. Good work. Good work. You're doing a great job, Helena. Great job. Good work. You're doing great securing this door. Good job. Good work. Awesome job. I'm glad you're here. I appreciate it. <laughs> this game. Why is that an option? Uh-oh, these zombies are going to get up. 
Oh shit, all right, so what I'm gonna do is run over here, and as you can see, there's a fire extinguisher there. I'm gonna shoot it and watch this. Yeah! How about them apples? Whoa, did you see that? Helena's hair glitched there, that was weird. Oh, he's still alive. The zombie's still alive. Oh, oh, thanks. My partner helped me. Wow, I just did a shoulder tackle there. Nice. All right, let's pick up the items here. All right, anything else? Oh, so in the game, skill points. Now, this is one thing I forgot to mention. Skill points in this game, there's no more upgrading your guns like in Resident Evil 4 and 5. You don't upgrade anything. You use skills in this game. Basically, you add, like, perks to your character. I'll, like, right now, again, I'll, I'll, this will be the last time I bring up this goddamn menu. Because I hate it. See, right now, I'm using perk 1. This gives me zombie hunter level 2, meaning... I will do more damage to zombies specifically. Now you want to select this for character specific campaigns because in Leon's campaign he only fights zombies. And I put defense level 3, this means I'll take less damage. And combat gauge boost level 2, meaning I can actually have more uh, melee moves. You see how um, I have that uh, melee meter there with the 10 bars? When you start the game it's only 5, but since I leveled it up to number 2 it's 10 now. And we got more zombies here, so I'm going to slide into this lady. Kick her! Nice. Shoot this dude in the foot. Slide into him. Oh god, this lady almost... Die, lady. Yeah, so the melee in this game is very broken. You can melee anything in this game. It's broken. Seriously, look at the melee in this game. Oh! If you play this game as an action game, it's fine. That's my problem with this game, though, because it's not a Resident Evil game. It's more of an action game. It's actually a fun zombie action game. It's more like Dead Rising in that it's sense. It'll lead you off the campus. Now, if this was Dead Rising, I would have been like, yeah, this game's great, but the fact that it has Resident Evil on it, I think it misses the point of what made Resident Evil great. Like I said, you can have fun with this game at times. I mean, it is... I am mean, having fun, in case anyone's wondering. Oh, I don't hate this game as much as I used to, because back in the day, I really hated this game. There's just some stuff in it that I find annoying, rather than I outright hate this game. There are some stuff that I do find annoying. And like I said, melee in this game is very broken. Seriously, you can melee anything in this game. And yes, I know I'm playing it on normal. Even on hard difficulty, it's still easy because you can basically just spam the melee move. If you upgrade your melee and the game doesn't punish you, you can upgrade that melee to 10 bars and you just do this to enemies. Look how easy it is for me to kill that zombie. You don't even need to use the guns technically. The only time you should use a gun is if you're fighting an enemy that you can't touch or a boss battle. But on all regular enemies, you can just do this, dude. It's so easy. Come on, zombie lady. Hit me with that axe. Oh, ho, ho, ho. That was brutal. All right, so I got a green herb, and I'm going to combine it with the red herb. Now, one thing in this game, when you combine herbs, you see how there's a, a, a little circles there? That is going to go in my uh, medical uh, capsule case, and once I store it, Look at that number on the right. Did you see I just got six? Basically, in this game, what you do is you're going to have something called the capsule meter. Now, when you get hit in the game, you take a, a pill. And yeah, that's actually pretty interesting in this game. You actually, uh, the, you don't use the herbs like in other Resident Evil games. You actually convert them into pills and you use them. It's an interesting change and I kind of dig it. Actually, I don't hate that change. It's kind of unique. They did it to sped up uh, the healing because when you're playing this game cooperatively, you don't want to, you know, pause, like, I gotta use a healing item, and then you're using the healing item, and then like, alright, let's go. You can use a healing item while running and, and on the go, so it's kind of cool. I like that change. So right there, I just made another green and red. Green and red gives you six, and I believe you can store up to 15 or 16 in your uh, little uh, um, okay, pill case. Anything you can do. Sorry, not from here. I'm sorry if I'm talking a lot about the game, everyone. It's just that way I don't have to talk about the game anymore. All right, so the gate's locked, and now we got to get the key card. I'm explaining everything because, trust me, everybody, I, in case if anybody's got questions, or if anybody ever wants to play this game, I'm giving you some tips or things that I picked up on. All right, so that, I'll stop talking about the mechanics of the game. You guys understand. Yeah, you're right, Leon. I'm just explaining it so you guys understand, you know, how this game works and everything, the mechanics and everything. All right, now that I explained that... Let's just play the game. I'll shut up and we'll just play the game. I'll comment on things every now and then, but I will not talk anymore about the mechanics. I'll just go ahead and play the game for the experience. All right, thanks. Way to go, Helena. Way to go. That's going to alert all the zombies. Oh, shit. Here they come. 
Megan, the door's locked. There's no way out. So all the zombies are coming. Oh dear. All right, all right. Just nobody panic. Holy enough, they get in. You shoot that fire. Oh my God! Do you see how freaking fast that zombie flew? Holy shit! Holy, holy, holy! All right, all right. Hang on, hang on. I'm gonna shoot this. Stand back, Alina. Oh my goodness. Okay, I have three red grenades. Oh god, zombies are coming. Take that. Oh god. Whoa! See, I jumped back there, so I almost got hit. See, that's what I like about the control in this game. I do like the fact they give you so much control. It makes the game a lot easier because of it. Oh, thanks, Alina. Yeah, your partner is very useful in this game, by the way. Nice. All right, all right. Alina, look out, zombie. All right, I'm going to throw a grenade. Damn, they caught on fire. Yeah, and by the way, you can shoot the gun as fast as you want. Like, look, how, look how fast you can shoot it. I'm not going to do it all the time because, you know, ammo is very scarce in this game. Dang. So far, I'm kicking ass, dude. I'm actually doing really good. I know I'm playing this game on normal. But yeah, I'm doing pretty good so far. Alright, go, 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 go. Oh, God, zombies. Alright, stand back. Alright, we're good. Reload. All right, we survived. Yeah, like if you play this game with a friend and you're in the right attitude, like you accept it as an action zombie game that's flawed, it's fine. You can have fun with it. This is not a terrible game. I will say this. It is not terrible. Even my friends tell me, Jerry, this game's not that bad. I'm like, I know it's not that bad. The only genuinely god-awful Resident Evil game I've ever played in my life was Resident Evil Survivor. Or Operation Raccoon City. Okay, maybe Operation Raccoon City is not that bad. I mean, my friends from Young Manhood likes it. But it's definitely not polished. That's for sure. Alright, I found some bullets in there. Nice. Is that zombie lady going to get up? Is she going to get up? It's kind of annoying that you can't really hit the zombie here. Like, look at this. Like, I know she's alive, but you can't hit her. Alright, what's in here? Oh, so these are blue medallions. Break them and you unlock a file. Whoopie doo. In case you care about those unlockables, son. But in this game, they do matter because they give you backstory and stuff. I mean, if you care about the plot, because I don't. So I grab the key card and the zombie's gonna get up! Whoa! Stomp him. Nice! Okay, alright, we got him. We got him. Alright, he dropped some bullets. Nice. Alright, is the zombie lady gonna get up? She's gonna get up, by the way. She's gonna get up. Oh, Jesus! She got up. <laughs> oh my god, I like how you can trip over the zombies. Look at that. It's like, whoa, I tripped over the zombie. Oh, really? That was cheap. Oh, thankfully my partner saved me. Look, I just took damage there. Oh my... What the hell, game? Come on. Lady. Well, that was weird. That animation, though. Thank you, you're dead. Alright. Um. Oh god. Now, the reason why the zombies are so easy is because, well, I mean, not only am I playing it on normal, but I actually have um, that perk, remember, I actually have the uh, Zombie Hunter level 2 equipped, so that's why I'm doing so good. Meaning I'm a- whoa, whoa, whoa! Nice, there we go. I'll probably change the difficulty in the next chapter if you guys want me to, I mean... You guys can leave in the comments if I should leave the difficulty at normal or I'll probably put on a harder difficulty because I think it's a little too easy right now. Alright, killed that zombie. Alright, just keep moving. Come on, hunt again. Slide into the zombie. Wow, I just stuck a wine bottle in his back. That's nasty. Oh, look, I left an item over here on the stair. Okay, grab that. All right, so now we're going to head over here. Is that a zombie in front of me? Yeah, there's a zombie over there. Look, look at this dude. Zombies, everyone. Look how scary they are. Look how easily they got defeated. 
Oh my god, this poor zombie lady. Jesus. I'm sorry, Mr. I feel kind of bad for these zombies, dude. These poor zombies aren't even getting a chance. Slide into him. Now kick him. Oh, wait. I got a knife. Wow. Yeah, so you can use the zombies' uh, weapons. Oh, thanks. That was a good headshot she did there. Yeah, the partner is actually useful in this game, by the way. Unlike RE5. Because RE5, the AI is stupid. But in this game, they did improve the AI. So one day positive, the AI is actually smart in this game. And don't worry, your partner never dies in the game. So you don't have to worry about babysitting them. They're not annoying. They don't die in the game. Because one thing annoying about RE5 was your partner can get killed. And it was so damn annoying. I kind of hated that. You had to babysit them necessarily. Thankfully, you don't have to do that in this game. Can I borrow that piece of wood? Yeah, I actually like Leon's campaign. It's the only one that, in my opinion, is playable. The other campaigns are kind of meh. I, I only like Leon's campaign, if I'm being honest. Because there's zombies. It's actually like a Resident Evil game. I go, it actually feels like you're playing a Resident Evil game because there's zombies. Alright, so let me go ahead and take some health here. So watch. If I click R1, watch. Check this out. See how my health went up there? That's how it works. It's pretty cool. And you can do this while walking, see? Look at that. Pretty cool. I do love the sound effects in this game when you get a health that Oh, sound. Tic Tac, the fresh maker. Or no, it's Mentos, the fresh maker. All right, so this part I'm just going to run. Just run, 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 run. The zombie almost grabbed me there. Run, 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 run. Get out of my way, zombie cop. Run, 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 run. Come on, let's get out of here, zombies. I don't have time for your shenanigans. Yep, that, I know I just sold that. All right, we got to look around for the keys. We got to look around for those keys. By the way, it's up here. It's up here. Leon, it's up there. It's up there, Leon. Really, Leon? It's in the visor. Leon, are you serious? Leon. By the way, guys, I know where it's at. It's up here. Look, game, let me... Game, it's up there. Thank you, game. I've been wanting to grab it. Oh, my God, Jesus. Back up, back up, back up. Hit L2. It's clear behind us. Back up. Go, Leon, go. By the way, you don't drive in this game, sadly. Yeah. Yeah, like, I kind of wish the game was more like this. Like, the tone was more like this. This actually feels like Resident Evil 2, in my opinion. Oh, God. I kind of wish this game was more like this, because like I said, that when it when it tries to be a horror game, it can actually work at times. But look at all the action, guys. There's so much action in this game. Shit. Shit. That's not the first time Leon's crashed the police car, by the way. Helena, are you two all right? Hanging in there. But we need another way to the cathedral. Well, I found an underground route that may be safer. The sewers, huh? Great. All right, I guess we're going in the sewers, everybody. Come on, Helena. This way. You got it. All right, let me hit that circle button. All right, so that is the first part. Well, technically the second part of Chapter 1. Um, again, I skipped the first part of the game because it starts off really slow and kind of boring and scripted. So I just skipped that part for the video not being so boring. Oh, they're going to kiss? They're going to kiss? I'm fine. Yeah, you know they were going to kiss. Yeah, one thing I do want to say, the graphics are very nice. Like, the graphics are very good in this game. Graphically, it looks nice. And it is running at a, a 60 frames if you're playing this on PS4 or Xbox One. What's it is game? running at a buttery from 60 frames. Not a fan of sewers. Come on. Let's just get to the cathedral. And I'll tell you everything. Helena is so beautiful. Alright, so this is a flashback, everyone. Oh damn. 
This is getting all political now. Take responsibility and end this mess. So Leon and the president were going to expose Umbrella and the Raccoon City stuff, but unfortunately the president becomes a zombie and Leon had to kill him, in case if anybody's wondering. So now it's up to Leon and Helena to stop this other zombie virus and reveal the truth to the world. You know how Resnia was. Basically, zombies bad. Let's get moving. Everybody that makes zombies is bad, Certainly and we need to stop them because zombies bad. Okay, that's story. That's story for RE6. Zombies evil, kill them because they smell like cheese. Nah, I'm just kidding. Oh, no, I'm just, you know, I'm just being funny. No, seriously though, that's basically the plot. I mean, it's a lot more complicated than that, but zombies are evil. The people that make the zombie virus are evil. All right, first thing I'm going to do, we're going to change the difficulty. I know, uh, first of all, I just want to check something real quick. I have 75 bullets. Okay. I'm going to actually change the difficulty because, yeah, I admit, this is kind of too easy. I was, I was going to do it on normal, but then I realized, okay, this is this is kind of too easy. I realized my mistake. All right, because so, everyone's going to get mad. Like, Rosie, it's not even a challenge. I know, I know. I'm going to make it a little bit harder, just a little bit. So I'm going to kick continue. All right. And we're going to put this on. Oh, you can't change the difficulty. Oh, shit, you can't change the difficulty. I didn't know that. They don't let you change the difficulty. Why? They don't, they don't let you change the difficulty during the... what? Okay, here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to pick Leon. We're going to start here at 1-3. Here's what we're going to do. Here's, here, here's how I'm going to figure out the problem. I'm going to put this on veteran difficulty. Or should I put this on no hope? What do you guys think? No, I'm kidding. Yeah, I'm going to put on veteran. Pick his Leon. Offline, yeah, yeah. All right, there we go. I fixed it. And we're literally going to start from the part we left on. Good thing I, I left off here. Okay, so here we're the... Yeah, this is it. This is the last time. I don't know if it saved my ammo and everything. We don't have much time. It did. Look, it saved all my items. Ha-ha! I figured you out, game. I figured out the problem. Ha-ha! I could change the difficulty. You just had to cheat the game. All right. So now we're playing on veteran difficulty. Let's go ahead and... Uh, Continue this game. Now we're in the sewers, and everybody knows sewer levels in video games. They're awesome. They're the best. Okay, so nothing's changed. I just, well, changed the difficulty. I still have all my items from the last part. Nothing's changed. Like I said, I have all my items. Oh god, I can't go this way. Electricity. Alright, I'll be careful. Careful is my middle name. So this is what I mean. You can run in the game and slide. Look at this. Or you can do it backwards. Like, look at that. Whee! Alright, I'll stop. There's a zombie there. I see a zombie. I see a zombie. Well, I stomped his head at nice. See, even on the harder difficulties, like this isn't technically I'm playing this on hard. Technically, veteran difficulty is actually hard difficulty. Even on hard, the zombies are going to be very easy, everybody. Let me tell you, they are still going to be easy. Uh-oh. What the hell hit me there? Something hit me. That was weird. Oh, look at this. Ah, oh, come on. You bastard. Oh, thanks, Alina. Oh, he's already dead. <laughs> oh, let's grab this item real quick. Yep. What the shit is that? Oh my god, a train! Are you serious? Whoa, quick time events, everyone. That's what I'm talking about, the quick time events. Okay, the zombies aren't dying as easy. Well... I noticed when I hit that zombie, it took more damage, so obviously the zombies are going to be a lot harder to kill. Thankfully, the difficulty is working. Okay, just making sure. Because so I was like, man, these zombies are easy to kill. Okay, so... Oh, what the hell? What was that? I heard a lady scream. Oh, I see a pooch over there. I shot the dog. Shoot the dog. Did I get him? Yeah, he's dead. I think there's more of them. I hear another dog. Are there more dogs? Yeah, here they come. Here they come. Here come the pooches. Look how far they are. Come on.
Well, that was easy. Come on, man. Those dogs weren't even that hard to deal with. Come on, man. Well, look at this fire here. Is there a homeless man living here or something? Probably. Probably. All right, let's keep moving. This is all linear, by the way. We're just going down literally a railroad track. It's literally a track we're on. Just go straight. Oh my god, hey! Oh, that poor dude. Well, he's not gonna make it. Bam! Oh my god, the train again! By the way, Coco 6. Is that what that... Did you see that? The sign said Coco 6. I don't know what that means, but... It sounds delicious. Sounds like a breakfast cereal. Or maybe I'm just hungry for Coco Puffs. What is it with me and food? I'm such a fatty. I always love food. I always love talking about food. Alright, um, so we're moving on, running for my life, running for my life, zombie on fire, die you stupid zombie, Hooah! I sit, oh nice, alright, I'm just gonna ignore those zombies, forget them, come on Helena, Helena. yeah, one thing that you have to do, some door, whoa, did you see how, that zombie jumped high, man, holy crap, it's dark down here, great, how's that for timing? God damn it, Stark. Whoa! Hey, man! Where did he come from? Oh shit, here come the zombies. Look at all the zombies! Look, all the zombies followed us here. How is he still alive? He's like missing like all his organs. Look at him, look at him! Look at him! He's literally just a spine! Oh my god, how is he still alive? Um, <laughs> I just kicked him while he got up. Nice. Nice. All right. That was brutal. All right. Take that, zombies. Even in the dark, zombies don't scare me. I ain't afraid. Whoa! Okay. Okay, I'm afraid. Okay, that scared me a little. All right, good. His head exploded. Nice. I'm so glad I was able to change the difficulty by cheesing the game by just having to... Picked up. Thankfully, they let you select a level in this game. I'm so glad they let you do that because I was like, what? I can't change the difficulty. I was like, wait, I can just select the level. Duh. And you keep all your items, by the way. It doesn't reset your items. Oh, look, another blue medallion. Damn legs, though. All right, come on, Helena. This way. Roger. <laughs> I don't know what I'm missing. Yeah, I'm actually having fun playing this. I'm not going to lie. This is, oh, I love that little detail. The shadows of those zombies. Yeah, I'm actually enjoying this game so far. It's not as bad as I remember it being. I haven't played this game in years, by the way, people. It's been like two or three years since I played this game. That's a lot of zombies. That is a lot of zombies. There's no way we're going to fight all of them. There's no way in heck we're going to fight all of them. Is that a train? I hear something. I'm just going to run for my life. <laughs> Don't hug me. How many zombies are there? There should be a train coming. There's a part where the train comes. Oh, Helena, hang on. Oh my, is there a train coming? Guys, I do remember one thing about this part. There's a part where a train shows up. I'm gonna throw a grenade because look at all this nonsense. There we go. What? Oh God. Oh my God. I was right. Yeah, nice. I was waiting for that train. I knew another train was going to show up. Who is driving these trains? That is true. They did say earlier in the game, who's driving these trains? I go, yeah, who's in control of them? Are zombies learning how to drive trains now? Because that is a terrifying thought. That should be a Sam Jackson movie. I've had it with these motherfucking zombies on this motherfucking train. I would watch that. I, honest to God, I would actually watch a movie with Sam Jackson killing zombies on a train. I would watch that. That would actually be pretty entertaining to watch. Um, Helena? We're not getting that open. I guess not. Want to have a look around in there? Boost me up on top. Okay, sure. Just don't leave me. What the hell, Helena? What are you do? Is she fighting? Oh God! Hey, get off my lady! You stupid zombie, get up! Is there another zombie? You all right? What was she shooting at? Was she shooting at the zombie right now? Oh yeah. So I gotta boost her up here. All right, come on, Helena. Get up there. All right. So she's going to open the door. All right. All right. 
Oh, thank you. <laughs> I just like how the door hits me in the face. Ow! Oh god! What the hell? That was cheap. Nice. Well, we all know these guys aren't dead. They're gonna get up, aren't they? Come on, wait for them to get up. Yeah, they're faking it. I know it. That was like the most stock scream sound effect. I was like, what'd you get that from? Soundbible.com? That was like the most overused scream sound effect like you hear in horror movies. Freeze! Nothing. Yet. Unless the zombies are gonna show up. Oh, I heard something. Did you guys hear that? Helena, check your back. These things are gonna get up. I'm telling you, I'm calling it right now. Those zombies are gonna get up. See, like, this is actually scary. Like, tight corridors in the train, slowly opening doors and zombies. That's Resident Evil. To me, Resident Evil Heart is tight, bleh, tight hallways and scary atmosphere and survival. This is the only part that actually feels like Resident Evil. Kick this dude. Whoa! The camera's going nuts. What is going on? The camera's going nuts. Helena? Helena? Oh god, that zombie, really? Shoulder dead. Oh, really? You tripped on the zombie, Leon? Why wow, I missed. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Roadhouse kick. Hey, leave her alone. Got him. All right. You all right, Helena? Yeah, she's fine. All right. Come on, let's go. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. More zombies are gonna get up, I know it. Jesus, how do you trip on the zombie? Oh, hey, look. No, oh, poor zombie. Just hit him with the, what was that, a mallet? Uh, really? Wait, Helena, I was gonna do a sneak kill. Are you serious? Oh, damn, that kick, though. Helena, come... No, you get a, a thumbs down. How do I give her a thumbs down? I can't. Wait. You got it. There. That, that's the thumbs down for the game. You can't give her a thumbs down, sadly. All right, you know what? You know what? Good work. But that's a sarcastic good work, because I was going to sneak on that zombie. Thanks, Helena. Thanks for that. Oh my god. Okay, I don't like the fact you can trip on zombies. Come on. Look at this. This guy this guy survived Raccoon City and he's tripping over zombies. Really? Come on, Leon. Leon, come on. This is embarrassing. Alright, let's go ahead and uh turn this button on. Whoa! Whoa! Okay, I'll admit, I'll admit that actually got me. Hey! Hey! I need you to open this door! Hurry! Alright. Peter, like Spider-Man? Peter Parker? Alright, hang on, lady. Hang on. Whoa, whoa. Okay, alright. Wait, lady. Hold up. Hold up. Ma'am. Ma'am, zombies. Ma'am. Ma'am. Really? Uh. Oh, I, can't, I couldn't save her. I couldn't save her. She was... Sorry. She was already dead. She was already dead. Alright, check this out. I'm gonna plant a bomb. Alright, planted a bomb there. Check this out. We're gonna blow all these zombies up. Ready? Ready? yippee ki mother- Did I get most of them? They're still alive. Most of them are still- They mostly all survived. Look at this. They all survived somehow. Die, zombie. Oh my god, they won't die. I'm coming, I'm coming. Hang on, Helena. What, where's the zombie at? Oh, he's on the floor. Are, what? Are you kidding me? Leon, he's right in front of you. There we go. Oh my god, he wasn't there. He wasn't hitting him. Come on, Leon. Whoa, was that a zombie back there? What the hell, lady? She can't see me if I'm hiding behind the cellophone, right? She can't see me, right? I don't think she can see me, guys. <laughs> she hit her head on the on the wall. Oh god. Oh god. 
Yeah, this game is fun if you could just play it for what it is. Like, if you just accept that it's a dumb zombie game, you can have fun with it. All right, we did it. We survived our zombie encounter. I'm just picking up all the items here. Go, 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 go. We got to get out of here, Alina. Yeah, even on hard mode, this game's really not hard. <laughs> what? How did he survive that? Get off me. Thanks, Alina. Good. You made it. You can reach the street level from there. What are conditions like up there? It's gotten pretty bad. Hell on Earth isn't much of a stretch. Damn. She said hell on Earth, everyone. All right, I'm actually good. I'm going to conclude this part because I think I've been recording for like, what, like more than 30 minutes or we're about to hit the 30 minute mark. I don't know. I actually haven't been keeping track of the time. All right, listen, everyone. This has been your boy, Rose Rascal 15. I hope you enjoyed uh, part one of RE6 Leon campaigns playthrough. And by the way, yes, I am going to beat this entire game. Well, Leon's campaign only on this channel. So stay tuned and we'll go to the next part and we are going to beat Leon's campaign. All right, it's been your boy, Rose Rascal 15. Take care, everyone. Peace, guys. And if you're a zombie, I'm sorry that I killed all your cousins. Bye.